Okay guys, I'm gonna show you the quickest way to get into the Prius uh, self-diagnostic mode. There's a lot of reasons why you might wanna use this. One of those is to check your battery. But basically what we'll do is the car's currently on. You could tell I have the gauges on the car, the speedometer is on. Uh, just basically hold this display button. And while you do that, turn the lights on and off three times. You don't have to put the full lights on. You can just, in fact, put on the regular parking lights. So I'm gonna do this. One, two, three let go and the car has now entered its uh, self-diagnostic mode um, so as you could tell it'll go through a couple of these basic uh, functions here uh, nav audio I'm not sure what the rest of them are but it's all okay if you ever had issues it would say check and it will give you codes there but from this menu we will now just simply press this menu button here and as you could tell, we have a list of a couple of items here. So service check, display check, nav check. Uh, first, let's go through all of them in order, basically. So service system check mode. And it'll tell us if anything is wrong with it. It takes a little while. So the nav and audio. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just because it's off right now. Usually it says OK. But if you click the buttons here, it will display some kind of memory issues. But as I could tell, the times that they occurred, the dates are really out of sync. I'm not sure what that refers, refers to. I will not erase them. So let's just go back to a service menu. We'll just uh, accept all of this. And uh, the most important one here is the display check. Okay, so the display check has a lot of functions. The vehicle signal check, very important. You could tell this is where we can find our actual 12 volt auxiliary, auxiliary battery information. So 14.3 volts, that is good. Uh, right now we have some basic information. So, you know, this is the light. So if I put on my lights, look at this. Tells that it's on and basically dim. Um, you also have a speed meter. Of course, you can't, you know, you can't use this while driving but also reverse. So if I shift to reverse, you see that? So it is live time, it says on now, and back to park, it says off. A very useful menu for you to know how to use. Let's go back to a display check. Let's go to the color bar check. So basically it says, please check to see that each color name corresponds to each color of the bar. And yes, it is correct. So we have no issues with the color display monitor. Let's do the touch switch check. Uh, so, you know, this basically some of the actual recognition of the touchscreen display seems good. So it's working accurately. It's tracking my finger correctly. Okay, uh, panel switch check. So this is going to basically tell if our buttons are working correctly. And if I touch this, you could tell that it says display here. Now it's saying info. Now it's saying climate and audio. So these works for this set of buttons here. It doesn't work for any other buttons. If I press them, nothing happens to the, to the actual buttons here or anywhere else in the car. Um, so let's just keep it how it is. Go back here and let's do, uh, we already did vehicle set signal switch. And basically the rest is just basic, um, you know, issues with Bluetooth and setups like that. Also have a Bluetooth telephone check. You could check whatever you want. But as you can tell, the car has a pretty comprehensive self-diagnostic system. Uh, it's to your best advantage to use this before you have to take it in for any kind of service. Uh, usually you could really just most of the time use uh, the actual battery check because this car does not have a battery gauge on it. So that's very useful. To turn this off, what you would have to do is basically just power over the car, press the power button, and you can tell that you know it'll turn back off. And when you start the car back up, I'm gonna start it back up. It'll load to its normal Toyota uh, start screen. And uh, you basically, you're now in the regular setting. Uh, thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll, be do, I'll do my best to help you uh, with anything I can. Thanks.